Guys, pre-order day of the iPhone 12 Pro. It's time, we're almost here. They're updating, it's 2 p.m. here in Italy and blue or gray. I did it. <laughs> I ordered the Pacific Blue 256 12 Pro next Friday. It will be here and I will make a video about it. So let's stay tuned for that. I'm really happy, can't wait for it. I couldn't wait during the, on the Apple event. It was amazing, it was incredible. So many new uh, great features. Also for the camera, which I use a lot uh, making videos online. Guys, I received like my credit card, my debit card, uh, it expired a month ago, but uh, actually they just sent me another one and it was all good. And so I shifted numbers, etc. The only place in which I completely forgot to change the credit card was the Apple store. <laughs> damn, God damn it. So what happened is that they declined the payment. So it was like, where is it? I have to pay right now because I have like a couple of minutes or all the iPhone will end, will be over like always. So I ran down uh, downstairs, took my wallet, uh, re uh, insert all the correct data of the new credit card. Damn guys, it was like a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> but now I did it. So yeah, let's wait. guys welcome back to the channel today let's unbox the new iPhone 12 Pro and the Apple Watch Series 6 I uh, today is the 23rd of October I just went to the Apple store here near me and I bought the Apple Watch the sorry the iPhone but the Apple Watch I got it when it was came out so I already have it but I'll show you the unboxing because I made a quick video for the unboxing if you want to check it out but first let's unbox the new iPhone 12 Pro damn this is good guys of course the box is small because they they changed their marketing and now they don't include a charging power adapter inside the box and I appreciate it because I, I think that the environmental problems right now are way 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 worse than the 20 bucks that you have to pay for another adapter if you don't have it already in your house and also for the, the earpods. So I had to buy one because I don't have it. <laughs> I actually sold it with the previous iPhone that I had, which is not still sold, but in these days I'm gonna sell it. So let's just unbox it. I took the blue one. You know what? Let's do it like this. Let's do a double camera. And there you go. So let's unbox the new iPhone with, of course, just one hand. Ah, it's a 12 Pro, 256 gigabytes. <laughs> there you go, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I love the color. I normally take just white or black but since I change it every year, since I change it basically every year because I, I need it for my content creation, for, the, for my work as my job, I said, you know what, this blue is cool, so let's try the blue for the first time. Okay, no more plastic, but a piece of paper. I appreciate that too. And you see inside there's actually nothing, just a cable and a little pocket here with just the things, the necessary things. I love things when they are essentials. So I love that they removed all the unessential things, non-essentials, sorry. So let's remove this. Oh, 
That is good. That is very awesome. Look at this. I, you can see myself how clean this is. This will never be this clean again. Oh my God, look at this. This color is immensely beautiful. Free camera, the new LiDAR, so it's the new sensor right now for better, for better night time shots and videos. So better camera, battery is the same. Uh, new screen, so the bezels should be a little bit thinner. New color, also you see that right now is flat here instead of being not flat. <laughs> and that's it, not so many changes, but the processor is the A14, so the A14 will be much, much faster, the efficiency uh, with the new iOS 14, so let's just try it. Guys, I can't believe this will be my phone. Like, this is so beautiful. I was so undecided, undecided. I was so undecided, undecided for the blue one or the black one, because I wanted black. But since I saw this color, I said, you know what? This is so good looking. And this is professional as well. This is not like such a pastel blue or, or a childish blue. This is very professional. I like it. I love it. So yeah. Let's just turn it on and then let's unbox the Apple Watch. I already unboxed it, but I'll show you the unboxing. There we go. Just change it with the aluminum one because the other one was in stainless steel. But first of all, I, did, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> and second of all, this one was, was not available. So I had to wait and change it. So let's go with the unboxing real quick. the same of the previous one doesn't change that much actually really like the stainless steel but they changed from a black to a graphite and I preferred the black in the past so there you go here the okay same it's the same <laughs> it doesn't change that much. Let me see if I can. And there you go. Oh, this is pleasure. And there we go. This is the aluminum one. Let me tell you guys, it doesn't change that much from the stainless steel. I don't know if it's worth 400 300 euros more this is actually cool and there you go just as i had it <laughs> before changing from the set uh, the five the point is guys uh the stainless steel is, is cooler it's way cooler it's very very good the point is um first of all it's way more expensive than this second I don't actually need the LTE, so I don't need the eSIM and using it with without my phone because I always have my phone with me. Third, I was so scared to scratch it because the watch is something that you wear normally, randomly when you want to walk, when you want to do workout, when you want to go outdoor, and you're always afraid of scratching it. But if you scratch something for, for 400 euros, uh, that's bad, but not that bad. But for 800 euros, then you're gonna like, that, that's, that's much worse. So uh, what I wanted to say is, I prefer this one just because it's way simpler and it's like, it's not like the best looking watch, but it's something to wear every single day at work, when you work out, when you're at home, uh, when you want to go outdoor normally or casually. And if you have a special occasion, then you will buy another watch because you know the Apple Watch is not like the, in my opinion, the most classy and gentlemanish watch ever. You can buy a Rolex, you can buy whatever other watches you want. But the point is, everyday watch, this one, simple, you can change it every year. You can sell it very quickly because it's the aluminum version every year if you want to shift with the next version. 
the other one it's way 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 more complicated but another thing was the the charger was also in a stainless steel stainless steel with the stainless steel version this one is in plastic but uh that's not it doesn't make that work for that price it's not still worth it <laughs> so yes maybe one day when i'll be rich i'll have the stainless steel but for now that's more than enough waiting for the restore in progress i have no idea how much how long it will take damn guys it's finally over it's night <laughs> now it has to download all the apps oh my god there you go i finally have it finally it's on i use it i tried it it's the next day <laughs> so it's the next day i had to wait the entire no it was not the entire night just actually last uh, like yesterday evening i could use it but i wanted to test it a little bit and i wanted also to show you some pictures that i want that i tried to take and i also wanted to compare uh, the, the two phones so right now the video that you're watching is taken from my previous iphone the iphone 11 pro so right now i'm gonna switch and show you the other camera the iphone 12 pro and maybe you can see the difference okay so there you go this is the iphone 12 pro i have some lights here so this was the iphone that i was recording on before it's the 11 pro my previous iphone and guys let me tell you this blue right now i have it in front of me let me take a picture oh let me actually make a video this blue guys it's insanely good looking i was actually scared that i wouldn't like the blue the pacific blue because i normally use just black and white phones i love the black one but this year was not black it was graphite so i wanted to see uh i want to see in person before buying it and i actually prefer this one so for this year i change iphone every single year because it works uh better for me i use it to create content online so i have to change it and if you buy it and uh, sell it to somebody a friend or on facebook privately you actually don't spend that much money every year if you want to change it today i'm gonna sell the osmo pocket let me show you this baby right here this baby right here i have to sell it guys why because first of all the second generation came out uh so this one got older and second of all, because right now I have the iPhone 12. Guys, uh, before when I had just the iPhone, uh, another camera would help. So this camera, which is 4K and it's, it has a gimbal stabilization, that's great. But, oh my God, this iPhone is still working. <laughs> but now that I have my Sony camera, my Sony professional camera, the Sony A6400, and I have the lens and I have the iPhone 12 Pro. I just I will just use this camera to record better videos, better looking videos, better looking photos, more professional photos and my main camera for my YouTube channel. And once I'm blogging, once I'm blogging and just make photos out there or for social media, TikTok and uh, Instagram, I'll just use the iPhone 12 Pro. I don't need other cameras, guys. That's why I'm also probably gonna sell my drone. I have a DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, in November, probably another one will come out, the DJI Mavic Mini 2. So I think I'm gonna sell mine not even a year that I have it. But first of all, I see that I don't use it that much. So I just want to sell it because I don't use it that much. I don't make like those super cinematic, uh, cool videos. I just make videos like this and I prefer making videos like this. Maybe one day when I have maybe uh, more time or maybe when I, I want to create better, like, not better, but because it's not bad, it's just more cinematic videos. I will maybe take the next generation of the Mavic Mini that will come out. Because right now it's 2.7K and 
I record everything in 4K, so I just wait the next generation if I want to change. So for now, I think I'll just stay with my essential stuff, the new iPhone, the 12 Pro, and my Sony for professional videos. Uh, is the camera quality good enough? I don't think so. I think the cameras, even if it's computational photography, will not uh, be, of course, because of the small sensors, good enough for professional videography but i think that for photography that's actually a really good camera so i think that photos are great and videos they could be better but they are great as well so that's it guys so i want to show uh, i wanted to show you the difference between the two cameras i hope you enjoyed this video i just want to show you a little bit more the iphone and then just leave okay let's this is back with the Sony camera, guys. Of course, this is better. Of course, this is a professional camera. So yeah, guys, that's it. This is the new iPhone 12 Pro compared with the 11 and the Apple, uh, the Apple Watch 6 unboxing. So first impression, I love the Apple Watch. Doesn't change super much between the other, uh, not with the other one. It's not like super changed. I also tried the uh, stainless, steel ver stainless steel version, but I don't think that it's necessary to change with the aluminum. And what about these two phones? I actually think, and I see that the 11 Pro is a little bit smaller than the other one. So once you try this one, you feel that it's the previous, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S version. So you try to always look for here for the bottom when it's actually here. And another thing is that you imagine that it's uh, super small when instead you find a screen that is huge, a huge screen. And compared to this one, it's even uh, bigger. This one is very, is smaller than this one and using it for a night, for a day, I see that it's so fast, guys. Not that this one was not fast, but some interactions like the screenshots or opening the camera or turning on an app or some little things. Here, it took some time, which was not make it so snappy and fast and quick. This one has everything that you want from a very fast smartphone. So the A14 Bionic chip, uh, that's insane. I have no idea what they're gonna do for the next uh, iPhones because this is very fast. The the camera quality is great. Everything's great. It feels premium. I like the blue. It's not heavy. So in the beginning, it's not as heavy as you expect. This is heavier, the iPhone 11 Pro, in my opinion, as, as I can see. The battery, guys, I mean, of course it's new, but now after 12, after three hours no two half past two so two hours and a half of using it it went from 100 percent to 89 percent so that's very good very pressing of course it's a new phone but uh, i think that the battery efficiency i know that the battery is smaller but i think that the battery efficiency went a little bit uh better i love the fact that it's that it has not that is very clean here because they added the two things here i don't know if you can see them no you cannot see them this thing right here aluminum it's such a fingerprint magnet but i actually love it no matter what so that's it guys this is the new iphone 12 pro and this is the new apple watch 6. thanks a lot for watching first impression approved one thing that i would recommend for next iphones of course the battery they can always improve it and the 120 um, hertz, so the super refresh rate, I would love it. I have it on my iPad Pro and I love to have it here. I'd love. And the LiDAR scanner, one thing that iPhones didn't, it, they're not still with videos good enough as the cameras, in my opinion, is the bokeh. So seeing something like that here, you can see that it's not on focus. Here it's on focus and it's blurred in the background. Now you have lasers in your phone. So you have like a super cool 
camera equipment and it's just used for some portrait modes etc but why not using like creating a portrait video mode or something uh, they can emulate the very cool DSLR cameras or the mirrorless cameras because it should be that would be a game changer that would be for cameras and for pros that use cameras a game changer like having the blurred background uh, with an iPhone with a phone that would be amazing so that's it guys really cool phone love it can't wait to try it more you can you will see my next pictures and my next videos if they're better on my social media so if you want to check it out on my social media you can see all the difference uh, between the previous pictures and that's it I love it see you guys in the next videos Peace.